today I have a collective haul. I went to uh, Bath and Body Works, I went to Walgreens, and I went to Target and I picked up some things. Um, I'm going to start with Bath and Body Works because it's the most stuff that I got. And um, I like to wait until they have their sales and they send out coupons. And have you guys noticed they send out all their coupons at the same time and they're all like available to use at the same time. I don't know what they expect us to do with that many coupons, but I called ahead and I said I need to go shopping and she said just bring all your coupons and we'll figure something out. So I purchased um, some hand soaps for my bathroom and um, or for my two bathrooms. So I got this, I got two of this uh, fragrance. It's called Aspen Autumn Day and it smells amazing. It is clean but it's very fall and so I am loving the scent and this is for the master because it has two sinks so each sink needs one and now I did something that I've never tried before but I purchased the same scent in um, the cleansing hand soap this was the foaming so these are the foaming soaps because I heard and I looked it up online and I haven't tried it yet so I'll let you guys know how it works that you can refill these so you just put like an inch of like this kind of soap in here and you fill the rest up with warm or hot uh, tap water and you can refill your own with the same scent. So I'll try that and um, I'll let you guys know how that worked out. So I did that um, for that bathroom and I picked up, this one is for the guest bathroom and it's already been used a little bit but I pulled it just to show you. This one is called Crimson Plum and it's a very fresh clean plum scent so it almost has like a berry scent to it but it's super clean it's not heavy there's no vanilla or anything in it so that's a nice clean fragrance I also picked up heirloom cranberries which is really similar to the plum in that it's very crisp and clean and it doesn't feel uh, heavy but it's very fall so this is going to be fun for fall and winter because you know we'll see how quickly um, we can go through them and then my the last one that I picked up which is my favorite is Black Cherry Merlot. And I picked up one foam and then I picked up one of the regular soap. So I'm hoping that when this foam one is done, I can do the same type of thing and have like the same fragrance and kind of like do a little DIY. Now, if this DIY works, I will let you guys know and I'll show you how to make your own so that you're gonna save tons of money because um, these are, you know, they're the same price as the other ones, but technically they would last like four times as long if this trick works. So I'll let you know. And the next um, items that I purchased was um, Amber Blush in the travel size. Now this was a freebie because I got a card that said I got a free travel item with no purchase. So I could have just walked in and picked this up and walked out for free. Um, oh, I also, I forgot to mention for the home stuff, I also picked up the uh, Harvest Gathering uh, wall plug. I just picked up the bulb. The reason I picked it up is because I tried the Harvest Gathering candle and I loved it. So I wanted to see if the bulb smelt um, the same as the candle and it does. It's really dead on, it's really great. So it's my favorite. And those were on sale for $3. Um, the bulbs are usually six, which is crazy for one. I don't think they ever actually keep it at that price. They always have sales. I had a coupon that said if you purchased anything for ten dollars you could get a body care item up to thirteen fifty for free so that excludes the sprays because the sprays are up to fourteen dollars and they're really um, strict about that so they won't let you get a spray so what I did is I bought the spray for the fourteen dollars and then I got the bath gel for free so essentially that was on one transaction so um, that was a separate transaction than my home stuff so the next place that I went was I stopped by Target just to get like random home stuff and um, I was walking by, I was about to check out and I found this, it's a no spill liquid pump. So um, and I've seen these at Sephora, you know how at Sephora when you swatch all over your hands and you're like covered, um, you just go up to the little cleaning area and you put a little pad and you press down and you get remover and you clean yourself up. Well this is the same exact thing except for at Target they're $2.49 and I'm not sure how much they are at Sephora but they're probably I feel like around eight eight nine dollars so they're a lot more for the same exact thing so and this was by the nail care items if you want to go pick up some 
I'm going to use mine for my nail polish remover, but you can use it for regular alcohol. You can use it for makeup remover if you use makeup remover to clean your eyes. Uh, I could see. I could see um, you using it for a lot of different reasons and for a couple dollars it was definitely worth it. Now if it breaks somehow or it malfunctions I'll let you know but it looks really sturdy and it holds a lot. It holds 5.9 ounces so that should be a lot of uh, remover for my nails so I'm excited about that and then I stopped by Walgreens as well um, because Liam from Liam says um, was talking about how they're the only place that carry Jordana brand. And I do not remember ever trying anything from Jordana, but she raves about the eyeliner. It's called Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner, but it's a felt tip. So it's like a pen type eyeliner. And it's pretty fine tipped. It looks like it would get the job done. Um, so, they're a dollar ninety nine. They're really inexpensive. They're a dollar ninety nine. I'm a huge fan of liquid eyeliners. I pretty much try them all the way across the board on every brand. And for a dollar ninety nine, I mean, I was like, well, why not? You know. So um, I picked up two of the blacks. So this one is still wrapped. This one I opened, and I'm actually I've used it. So I used it last night, and then I used it today, and I really really like it. Um, I also picked it up in brown, which I have not opened yet. More like for fall looks, um, fall eyes, and uh, so I'm going to zoom in and show you what it looks like on the eyes, and it's not like I'm fully giving a review, I just want you to see um, how it applies. So this is how it looks on the eye, it's very precise, the tip is quite small, so you can create a large wing, you can create a, a small wing. You can pretty much do anything with this liner. I chose a really dramatic, I have like a dramatic eye look going on today. So far I really love the eyeliner. I have absolutely no complaints. For $1.99 you can't really beat that. Um, so if you're wanting to try Jordana and um, you didn't know where to find it, Walgreens. Walgreens. And the selection is not huge. So it's mostly lip products and eye products. They don't really have... Um, you know, foundations, powders, blushes. I haven't seen anything like that on display, but um, their lip and eye products are fantastic. I also picked up two lip pencils. I picked up the uh, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny, and I picked it up in Plush Plum. Now, the reason I picked up the Tawny was because Carly um, always wears, ta like when she does her nude lip, she always wears uh, the Tawny and so I got really curious because I like the way that her lipstick settles it looks really nice so when I saw it in Tawny I thought of her and it is it's such a nice pencil like it's really well made it's, it's retractable which I really love it makes it really easy to use again a dollar ninety nine and um, it is like a really beautiful nude it has like a pinky nude color to it I really like it. I like it a lot. And uh, for $1.99, you can't beat that. It's super creamy. It goes on really smooth. And according to her, it has really good staying power. So I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know if I like it as much as she likes hers. I picked up the color Plush Plum as well because I think it's going to be really pretty for fall. And it's so rich. Look how pretty that color is. It's retractable so you don't have to sharpen it, which I really like. And um, it has a very nice little fine point to it. So anyway, that's everything that I got on this shopping trip. If you guys liked this video, please thumbs it up and like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my blog, thedressycheck.com for style. Um, I do outfits. I do product reviews with photos on my blog. I love Instagram. I love uh, photos. I love to communicate on there. Um, also look me up on Facebook, Twitter if you have those. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you next time. Bye.